At the young age of nine, Shane O'Dowd Rutherford's life would change in an instant. I was at home with a friend and um, it was a season where fireworks were very popular and uh, we decided that it would be an idea to make our own. Unfortunately, that didn't turn out too well and instead of producing a firework, I ended up putting my cell phone fire. Highly flammable household items exploded and landed on Shane's shirt, causing serious burns to his face, neck and chest. Since that day, Shane has undergone about 25 different medical procedures, many at Sunnybrook, and he's still not done. One second of carelessness is 25 years of, of recovery. As director of Sunnybrook's Ross Tilly Burn Center, Dr. Mark Jeschke treats hundreds of burns every year that result from the fun summer activities many of us enjoy, including campfires, barbecues, and fireworks. People think it's not uh, a, a devastating or it's a, it's a danger to anybody, but it is. Because if you have a massive amount of firecrackers and they blow up, you actually get explosive burns that are significant. And uh, so again, just be careful. Don't let your kids play with them. Supervise your children. He says common sense can prevent most of the terrible injuries he sees all too often. When you do barbecue, it's very lovely. Everybody is enjoying it. Uh, but, you know, stick to the rules. Use fireproof stuff. Don't put, uh, use, uh, don't put gasoline on. Don't put igniter on. Uh, don't touch. Don't get close if you don't need to. Uh, also, stay away from the fire with your clothes because people have airy clothes. Um, loose, hanging loose, and they turn around, the fire ignites their clothes, and uh, there you go, you have a major injury for no reason whatsoever. Frank Lamy is with the City of Toronto's Fire Services and says the summertime poses particular risks. You let your guard down a little bit, you're more relaxed, it could be a little more influence of alcohol, but I think usually it's just things that we're not familiar with. You know your stove at home, you use it every day, but you don't use your camp stove every day. Lamy says it's important to read the safety instructions for barbecues and fireworks closely and to always supervise children. That's a message Shane couldn't agree with more. I think it's important to be, to be very conscious and very aware whenever you're engaged in, act, in an activity that can be even remotely uh, dangerous. If you do suffer a burn, Dr. Jeschke has these words of advice. Don't put any experimental agents, butter, vinegar, oil, lemons, or whatever. Do not put those on. Uh, you know, again, if it's a significant burn, try to call or call 911. Get you transferred to a nearest hospital. Uh, however, the best initial treatment for all burns, even in your household, is cold water. For more information, visit the Sunnybrook or Toronto Fire Services websites. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.